Hey guys! After my painting with nail polish video, some of you guys suggested I should paint with coffee next. And that's what I'm going to do today. By the way guys, are you a tea or coffee drinker or do you prefer something else instead? I really love coffee and tea and I really can't live without my tea and my coffee. I really need to drink it all the time wherever I am because I just need something hot next to me that I always can drink. Well, not maybe not in summer, but still coffee um, and tea in the afternoon, the best thing. I prepared some really strong coffee that I mixed with a little bit of water in some of the cups to get different shades of coffee. By the way, I used freshly grinded coffee, so I didn't use coffee powder like instant coffee, just regular coffee. This is also my first attempt doing it, so I literally had no idea how it works or how it will turn out. I've seen a couple of videos, so I at least have an idea how it works. And it looked really fun and not that difficult, but I must say painting with coffee is kind of challenging because you don't really know how the coffee paint will react, how many layers do you need, sometimes everything just runs into areas you don't want it to be, so I really had to be patient and play around. I decided I would just paint a moon because I thought it's a great way to work with different shades, millions of layers of coffee and just to have fun and play around. I tried to work with coffee as if I would work with watercolors. It was kind of difficult because still I was not sure how it will turn out, so I ended up going over and over the same areas. I removed some coffee, added more, I just tried to see what I can do. What I really liked was when I used a hair dryer to make the coffee dry faster, the coffee created a really nice and interesting texture. I also looked up for some inspiration online to get an idea how I could add more details to my painting because there's so many different ways how you can paint a moon. I was kind of worried because when I was trying to paint the moon with coffee, I had moments where I thought, Wow, it looks so great, I love it. Uh, and then a few minutes later I was like, oh my god, what have I done? It doesn't look like a moon at all. But this happens to me a lot of times and I just try to work with it and see how I can save it or just um, in the end it might even look better than you thought, so yeah. I also used a little bit of white acrylic paint to add more details because I thought, why not? and just added a few dots here and there to make the areas brighter. I think it's really fun to experiment with different media like coffee, tea, watercolors or acrylic paint if you're new to all this. Because every medium reacts differently and you need to use it differently. And if you change it up from time to time, it kind of revives your creative soul and you might even feel more motivated and inspired to make art. That's why I create all these inspirational and artsy videos to remind you guys that we worry about so many things in life way too much instead of just stop doing that and focus on enjoying things, living in the moment, trying out new things. I believe this way we really have more from life and have more fun living it. But yeah, I don't want to make my video super deep and philosophical, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys so you know and understand why I like creating videos that I create. Okay, let's go back to the painting. Well, I tried my best to make it look like a moon. The coffee didn't want to stay in areas I added it, so I was kind of annoyed by that, but oh well. <laughs> it's not meant to be, I guess. Let me know if you would like to see more coffee art where I try to create more detailed art with coffee or if you have any other suggestions for art challenges, let me know. And by the way guys, don't forget that you can always share your art with me with the hashtag lookmako to be featured in my videos. I really love seeing your recreations and your original artwork, so don't hesitate to share your art with us all. And this is the final result. What do you guys think? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it to support my channel, it really does help me out a lot. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for weekly art and DIY videos. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!